Well, howdy. <clears throat> Among other things, I collect what are not commonly called mouse guns. That is uh, 32 automatic uh, handguns. <laughs> what you see before you is my collection of American-made mouse guns. And I'm going to describe what each of these is. Starting over here. This is a 1907 Savage. Uh, it was developed, well, in 1907 for, uh, by the Savage Arms Company and was a uh, commercial version of their original uh, submission for the 1911 trials for uh, the Army pistol. Uh, sold fairly well. Actually, it sold brilliantly. This is a later Savage 1917. The only place I know of that it got a military contract was the Portuguese Army. They ordered a few of them. It's a very, both of them are very good pistols. They're both striker fired, though this does look like a hammer. It's actually a striker. They have some unique uh, properties to them, but we won't go into that right now. Next, we have one of the grandfathers of them all. This is a 1903 Colt, uh, and it's, uh, I think this is actually a, a striker fired as well. Uh, they're they're um, uh, well thought of. This one has been through the ringer and put up wet. It's, uh, as you can see, it's all worn out here. It's uh, got almost no bluing left. It's, uh, it's quite the interesting pistol, though. This one is called a um, 35 Smith & Wesson. It's technically a 32, but when Smith designed this, they designed it with a 32 that had a semi-jacket on it and was led, I think, on the, on the nose. I don't mean just, just a hollow point. I mean a, an actual lead nose. And uh, they, they sold it as a, uh, uh, some kind of a Superman stopper. It really wasn't, but uh, it was uh, marketed as such. Uh, interesting pistol, though. And this one, <clears throat> this is a, the, the, its main claim to fame is the fact that it will stand up like that. <laughs> this is a Warner Infallible. Warners were made by a company in New York. Uh, they were imported by them. Uh, well, at first, they imported another gun that was called the Schwarz Losa, which was a blow forward. Yes, a blow forward. Incidentally, every one of these is technically a blowback. These two are considered semi locked. Yeah, but that's debatable. Uh, we'll go into that at a future date. This one is a blowback that is, is also, well, when the Schwarzloses ran out, Warner bought the tooling from, uh, from Germany, shipped it over to New York, and set up to make these ones. He got a, a, an American gunsmith to design this thing. And this is actually a second model. The first model was, oh boy, was it a problem. It had a little lever over here that was used for, for the takedown. And the way it worked is, you see, the, this is how the bolt comes out. And the problem is, is if that lever was pushed the other way, the only thing holding this bolt from slamming into your face when, it shut, uh, when it, the trigger's pulled is that pin. And it would just slam into the pin, shear it, and you'd end up kind of dead. <laughs> so uh, it was called the infallible only for the uh, victim. <laughs> uh, it was not exactly infallible. I, I don't plan to shoot this thing. I just have it because it's an interesting example of type. Anyway, this is my collection of 32s made in America, made in the USA, uh, from uh, 1907, 1903. Uh, I think this was the 1920s, and this was the 19-teens. I forget the exact dates. But anyway, that's the whole lineup of them. Next, I can do German. I've got about six German pistols.